All right, quick update on Jasmine. So uh, in yesterday's video, I outlined why I am short to midterm bearish, uh, mainly because if we look at this micro fib, we've broken below the 618. And specifically, we were looking at the 786 here at 1.6 cent as our last line in the sand. Now, when we made this video yesterday, we were just poking our head below the 786. And I think I said something like, if we don't strongly get back above the 786 and have a bounce, something like this, in the next day then we would be coming down and in my opinion my target would be down here at one cent so i get this from drawing the micro fib from the low to the micro high up here and you can see the 1.618 is down here at one cent so not much has changed uh, if you did kind of want a last last line of hopium then you could say as long as we do stay in this kind of green box here which is almost another 10 percent drop then technically i mean we would be somewhat somewhat bullish but do bear in mind if i flatten this coin uh there, there's no fib i can draw uh from this to make this bullish at all i mean uh ideally i draw a fib from the start of the uptrend to the all-time high you can see that we've broken below the 786 and we're about to invalidate this so you know the price target of this would be in the minuses so there's no point in keeping this up if I do flatten this as well, you can see this coin is getting close to 99.9% .9 down from the all-time high. So this coin has been rugged very, very hard. I'm not a fan of this coin at all. Like I said, I have to zoom in so, so much just because of the previous price action. I mean, when we went to uh, the all-time high, it was like $3 or something. Let me find out. I mean, you can, you can probably hear my mouse. I'm, I'm scrolling it aggressively just to find uh, the all-time high. So uh, the, the all-time high was $3. And now we're down here at, you know, coming close to one cent. So personally, I'm really not a fan of this, uh, this token or coin. Um, yeah, I mean, we're below the 200 day. We're falling off the table. We're literally going in a straight line down. Yesterday, I said if we don't get above the 786 very, very quickly, that we would be falling off the table. And you can see this is what we're starting to do. So like I said, last line in the sand is really down here at these two levels. So we have a plethora of lows down here at 1.4 cent. And also the previous low is here at 1.0. So anywhere between 1.4 and 1.5 is really, really where you'd want it to hold. Uh, this is kind of like an ugly M pattern as well, but we are kind of forming something like this. Uh, you could argue that the neckline is right, right here and we're about to test it. Or if we do come down to here, you could also argue that the neckline would be this big green box. So it's yet to play out. It's yet to come into fruition. So do keep that in mind. But since yesterday, when we did break below the 786, we have had some very strong volume step stepping in, specifically selling volume. So uh, volume predicts price. If we look at when we had this big green uh, candle wick, the, these green candle wicks were telling us that you know green volume is coming in so it's predicting an uptrend in price these red volume candles are predicting a downtrend in price so in my opinion we're getting ready to fall off the table if we don't hold the uh what was this one for again so uh yeah so if we flatten this you can see that we do have some touch points down here this is really our last last line in the sand if we do lose this then you know we'd have another let's see from where it is the uh, we'd have another 30 percent drop on our hands so all in all i'm a pretty conservative trader i do sit on the sidelines uh, until we do make decisions most of the time i'm not a fan of saying oh i believe it's going to break down so i'm just going to short out of nowhere i am the type of person who would say if we do break down come back retest it and then start coming down i would be shorting until we do get somewhere near this price target so like I said, I'm pretty conservative. If you've been watching my channel for the past few weeks, you know I've been talking about the Bitcoin dominance and how while the Bitcoin dominance is above the 200 day moving average, I do believe that altcoins are going to be cheaper priced against Bitcoin. So, you know, we predicted this all the way back here once we poked our head above it on the 11th of February. Since then, Bitcoin has been on an absolute rally, leaving a lot of altcoins in the dust. And, you know, you can see that, you know, Jasmine has just really not been keeping up. 
it's, it's one of those coins that got added to Coinbase, had a lot of hype around it when it launched, and then, you know, basically died. So if I find the Coinbase chart, you can see that, yeah, I mean, this, this coin was listed on Coinbase. Uh, the Coinbase effect normally lasts for like a couple of weeks now. People are like, oh my god, there's a new coin on Coinbase, I've got to buy. It goes up and then a new coin releases on Coinbase with a lower market cap and everyone forgets about this coin. No one cares about it, no one gives a shit about it anymore and then it just trends to zero because, you know, shit coins like this don't have any use in my opinion. Um, you know, the, the world wouldn't really care too much if this just went to zero. If we look at the selling volume, I mean, we, I don't even need to argue my opinion. Look at the selling volume. The only volume that's stepping in is a bunch of sellers. Uh, selling volume has just been trending up so, so much, especially since we broke below the neckline over here. So uh, really nothing is going on for this whatsoever. In, in my opinion, this coin, or this token, sorry, is extremely bearish until we do at least have a strong impulse above 166. Then in the short term, I am just sitting on the sidelines and, you know, expecting this coin to put in, put in new lows at some point soon. So that's all I see for Jasmine. Once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.